welcome to the Curiosity Show. Here's a problem for you. Do you think steel can pass through wood? Here's a piece of steel. It's actually the point of a safety pin. There's a wooden matchstick, and if I push down on it, you guessed, the steel passes right through the wood, and I can close the safety pin. Now, here's a second question for you. Do you think wood can pass through steel? And I mean, this side of the matchstick, can that pass through that steel wire that makes up that side of the safety pin? You're probably saying, no, it can't. It can be done, provided you push the piece of wood with just the right amount of force. Watch this. Now, let's see. Wood through steel. Wood through steel. Wood through steel. It's amazing, but it does work. You will notice that I removed the head of the match. Why did I do that? I'm glad you asked. I did it for a very special reason. Have a look at this. Here's a matchstick where the head is still intact. I'll push down on the left side of the match and notice that the head is on the right. Here we go. <laughs> and the head gives the game away. Although the wood appears to have passed through the steel, you can see that what's really happened is the head has gone from there round to there. In fact, the steel of the safety pin acts as a spring, and when I push down here, the whole thing bounces back into that position. But it happens so fast that your eye can't pick it up. What we really need to look at that first matchstick is a slow motion action replay, and you'll see it then. Here it comes. Curiosity